Hey, what's up, y'all? Clean Cuts, the one, coming back at you with another video. Uh, just getting ready to go to church, and I was doing some thinking, man. I've had several of y'all reach out to me personally, whether it be on my Facebook, my Instagram, YouTube comments, or whatever. And you guys, uh, a question that I keep getting asked often is, what made you want to be a barber? What made you get into, uh, have you always cut hair? What made, have you always wanted to go to school and stuff like that? So um, I just wanted to address that in this video as quickly as possible. Um, <clears throat> it's actually, it's funny, I never wanted to be a barber in my entire life. Never wanted to cut hair, never nothing. Um, you know, I didn't really have a whole lot of ambition because some of y'all know like my story. I spent a whole lot of time in the streets doing stuff that people do in the streets, right? Doing a lot of drugs, committing crimes and stuff like that. Uh, so I didn't really have a lot of ambition. My last dream before that was I wanted to go to the NBA, like in sixth grade. You know what I'm saying? I believed in that, but shortly after that is when I started smoking weed and doing all the things that several of us do. I just took it out of hand. Um, so anyway, I've always cut my own hair short with a pair of, you know, home clippers. Uh, just take it to a number one or bald it out. Uh, and my son, right? One thing that I have been passionate about, even though I haven't been really passionate about barbering my entire life, I've been passionate since I got clean and started getting my life together about being a daddy to my kids. That's pretty much been my number one priority. I probably got clean for my kids. Um, and I've always cut my son's hair. So one day I was cutting my son's hair, just like I always have. And um, he said, Daddy, I want a faux hawk. And I said, well, I, said, I can't do a faux hawk. I don't know how to do that. And uh, so it wasn't a big deal, man. I just gave him a mohawk and uh, sent him on his way. And it wasn't a big deal. I didn't really even think that much about it. Um, but right there is where the seed was planted. Something happened when he said that to where I got my, my mind kind of thinking, like, I want to be able to my, give my kids everything that they want. And uh, so I was just thinking about it, and I thought, well, I have a friend that's in barber school, and he kind of dealt with some of the same issues I did. Like, I wonder what happens if you just looked into it. So uh, I went online, went to the Knoxville Institute of Hair Design. I went to their page. I looked at their schedule, and I thought, well, I can actually do that schedule. And then I looked at the cost. It was 12 grand. If you can refer to my first video, I didn't know how I was going to get the 12 grand. Um, but when I kept looking at this passion, like the kept, it just grew. It like snowballed from, okay, I can do the schedule. I don't know how I'm going to get the money. And then I just showed up at the school one day on a whim. And I met my dude, Billy. Y'all have heard me say some talk about him a little bit. And uh, I just pay attention to all these things that kept falling into place for me. And every time I showed up for the next step in this process, the provision for me was already there. Um, and that's when I got in touch about how, you know, uh, it, this is my purpose, like my life purpose. The passion started really getting into me. I start looking at YouTube videos and I find myself so interested. Like I'm, I'm getting my clippers and I'm like, oh my God, I love these. And I'm just just taking in all the information that I can get and like this snowball by this time is like as big as a mountain and um, I just it, it was so organic and so natural um, that I started like praying about it and I started looking at like I said this is my purpose and once I started to believe in that I started to understand that God's purpose for me was for me to be a barber um, that I've been uh, graced and I'm, and I'm highly favored in this area. So uh, all I did was I just started listening to God and I kept showing up to the next step. Every time uh, I applied for some kind of loan, it was there, right? 12 grand. Um, all of my schooling was paid for with felony convictions, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? Um, diagnoses, mental evaluations, all that stuff. Man, I got so much stuff working against me that actually ended up working for me. Um, ended up getting uh, about $8,000 from another government program. Um, and it was all because of my history, right? Like the history that I thought was going to hold me back so far. And the things that I thought was going to hold me down actually ended up working to my benefit. So I start to see how God was present in all of this stuff from the very beginning. Um, I didn't go through everything that I went through for no reason, right? I have a job now to reach back and to help somebody else come from where I came from. And help them make it to the other side if they're willing to do what it is that I had to do. Um, and it was very hard. But back on, um, on, on to the barbering thing, man. I, I went. I accepted the funding. I showed up at school. And my passion just keeps growing, man. I can never learn enough. I don't know. I've, I've been getting into the, the, the ingredients for different stuff. Finding out what can I make. Um, I, I'm just... And really for me, man, it's all that's a... 
it's a really spiritual in nature thing. Um, I don't know how y'all feel about God or whatever, um, but that's that's the only way I know how to put it. It's the only plausible explanation. When I look at all the evidence and all the coincidences that have taken place in my journey, too many to uh, to tell you now. But the odds were not in my favor. The circumstances were not in my favor. And to be where I am now on this day and this moment with all the the blessings and the provisions that have already come before me, um, it's clear that I was destined uh, to be a barber. This was my purpose. Um, I continue to learn to pick up skills, and uh, it's just here I am making videos, man. As soon as I knew that I, this was my purpose, my life purpose, and this is my destiny, and I knew that God was going to do great things in my life, that's when I started making my first video, and that's why I continue to document this process. I do a lot of reviews, and I. I intend on putting a whole lot more stuff on that, but the point is, I don't want to ever lose sight of the fact is that I'm documenting a success story. Um, and it's not because I've done anything crazy. I just showed up and did what it was that my spirit and my heart told me to do, and I've been experiencing success. So I hope this answers a lot of y'all's questions. Um, feel free to ask any other questions you got. A lot of y'all hit me up on different social media sites. Those who have, you know that I respond. Um, as I can. I'm very busy with my wife and my kids and my life and school and all that stuff. Um, but I promise that I'm not going to change because the moment that I change, all of this stuff just, it goes away. It stops. The moment I think that I'm in charge of this thing or that I'm, uh, or that I'm somehow responsible for making all this happen, it'll go away because I'm not. So I just want to continue uh, to give a big shout out uh, to God, you know what I'm saying, for uh, giving me a purpose for my life and putting a passion uh, inside my heart uh, for this business and um, I'm just trying to reach back and give back to somebody else what was given to me so hopefully it helps somebody and um, I appreciate y'all uh, please continue to like and comment definitely hit the subscribe button gonna be a whole lot more stuff coming your way Till next time peace